this day. is amazing. So exciting to be here yeah. finally today. Yes. We've got these trucks outside getting ready to move all the furniture in. It's a beautiful The gals day. are finishing cleaning up. Um, this is awesome. I know. I'm so excited. Um, today I'm not in my cornerstone hat, which some of you may mostly recognize me as wearing. Today I'm in my Crescent Group hat um, representing the developer who built this fantastic, unique, I'm so excited to be a part of facility. Um, this is probably the most unique and beautiful amenity that I'm so excited to be a part of that I've experienced in my career with Cornerstone Absolutely. and the Crescent Group. So I just, I can't even express in words how excited I am. I, just from the second you walk in, the view out the back windows, the fountain, the um, path down to the pond, just the way that the whole room lays out, this gorgeous stone fireplace, double-sided fireplace, this amazing kitchen over here. I mean, I, it's just going to be yes, amazing. It is. So my role today... Well, hold on. Let me, oh, okay. let me first say we're here for Tuesdays at 2. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I know. See? And so it's a little different today. And we wanted, we were so excited about all of this that Michelle Newcomb, who works with the Cornerstone and Crescent Groups um, and helps with amenity um, transfer. Ma transfer and management and um, setting everything up for the homeowners associations or the condo associations, is here with me today and welcoming us to the farmhouse at Chickahominy Falls. Yes. So. Um, so today, my role in getting this amenity transferred from the developer builder or the Crescent Group as the developer um, who was responsible for building this amenity um, is to not only with this particular clubhouse farmhouse, but with any amenity that's transferred from the builder developer to an association. My responsibility is to sort of liaise um, between the association and the management company who's responsible for managing uh, the facilities and making sure that what's supposed to be here is in fact here, um, that the warranty information is submitted and that everything is where it needs to be. Um, not necessarily just for a clubhouse. It could be for a pavilion, it could be for a trail, it could be for a corner patch garden, um, just checking on a variety of installations and working with the project managers. Um, so we at Cornerstone Crescent Group build a variety of different amenities, mm -hmm. everything from trails and pocket parks to outdoor pavilions to corner patch gardens to massive farmhouse campuses like this mm -hmm. um, and Michelle works with us in the planning phases and developing and building these to make sure that at the end when we transfer it over to the homeowners association that we thought of all the little details like where's the trash going to go where um, how how is the kitchen going to be set up and you know what kinds of things do we need there the exterior lighting um, the management contracts that would then go into place by the HOA mm -hmm. it's going to be everything from plant installs to putting a wine bottle opener and some silverware into your kitchen. Um, so everything from the landscaping to the smallest kitchen gadget, you're responsible for outfitting it. Every little thing. And this is the best part of my job. This is, a, I love it. It's, it's fun. fun. It's so fun. Yeah, it is really fun. And I'm so excited. The guys are outside waiting on us to finish up so they can bring in all the furniture. <laughs> um, but before we let them do that, I wanted to kind of talk a little bit about and educate the com the homeowners a little bit about the management of it and what that looks like and who owns it and you know how does this responsibility this massive you know million dollar multi-million dollar facility transfer financially and management wise to the HOA or condo association right. and and it's not just this facility it's every amenity in a community mm -hmm. so so first and foremost that will be making sure that the developer has um, committed and fulfilled their responsibility per all the plans um, and that everything is complete. Um, that's the first, because we obviously don't want the association to make responsibility for something that is not completely ready. Um, once we're um, confident that that all is done, which I am ultimately confident that it will be, and even more so complete and ready to go, 
um, will begin to transfer all of the utilities and things over to the association, mm -hmm. um, which will be obviously managed by Community Group Associa, who will be managing and managing this facility, um, as well as managing the other services that are throughout the community. Um, so the same services have been contracted for this clubhouse, farmhouse, complex, campus, um, for tr everything from trash removal to insurance to cleaning to pool maintenance. Um, this is where um, all of the res financial responsibility and where the homeowner dues come into play. Um, and they will, you know, are ultimately paying for this facility and it will belong to the association and to its members, to the homeowners. Right. So ultimately the member, the, ma the owners and the residents in the community own the amenities. They all have an interest in this. And how facility. is, how is that, how does that work? So each community ha right now we have a developer board and eventually we'll have a um, board where it's resident run. Correct. And they'll be greening grounds and building maintenance mm -hmm. and fiscal financial um, committees and different things like that. So there there will be that a little bit. Um, we definitely will have a variety of um, chartered committees. Um, those committees chartered by the board of directors, which now um, obviously is the developer board, which will be in place for some time just because of the um, magnitude and the number of homes here with the master association. Um, what I think the next steps will be, my experience will be that the developer board will charter mm -hmm. um, a buildings and grounds committee, which will comprise of anywhere based on the size, the size of the community. With this community, I would imagine that would be minimum of five to seven, potentially more in the future, um, buildings and grounds committee. And they will be responsible for liaising between eyes on the ground, what's happening in the community, they will obviously report um, directly to the board of mm -hmm. um, directors, the developer board, but it's also nice too that they'll liaise between myself um, and the management company, Community Group Associa, uh, just because I can't always be here. Um, we are not really... Um, well, and when we're gone, right, that's right, how that right, operates, for right? So yeah. in the future, you know, 20 years from now or 15 years from now, even five years from now when we're gone, the, the board and the committee that's, you know, facilities mm -hmm. um, will, will report to the board and mm -hmm. then that's how, and then they, ma the property manager manages what the board and the committee right. direct. They'll be responsible for helping, you know, with maintenance schedules and um, utilities and certain services for all the community, for this community, for the yeah. association. Well, this is going to be really exciting. Um, today's a really big day here at Chickahominy Falls with the farmhouse furniture coming in. And um, we're really excited to share this amenity with the residents here, but did want to provide all of our um, viewers and all of our communities a little bit of information about how the amenities transfer to the board and how that is managed and financially um, you know, the responsibilities and that sort of thing. Um, we're always welcome to more questions. Uh, please provide your feedback. If you guys didn't get some answers that you'd like answers to, um, please comment in the chat uh, for the video and we'll be sure to answer those either in another Tuesdays at two or um, individually. Have a great afternoon. Thank you.